Hi. Welcome. I see we have you in for a broken heart today. I'm sorry to hear that. Please take a seat and we'll take a look at you, alright? So, do you know what the cause of this broken heart was? Recent breakup? A loss? Is it love related? Oh, it is love related. Hmm. Those can be tough. Believe me, I know. But I think we can get you back on your feet. Get that heart fixed up. What do you say? I'm glad you came in. Can you tell me a little bit more about this broken heart scenario of yours? Was it recent? Yeah, okay. You don't have to give me too many details, I just need more of a time frame, really. Because that way I can check for any scar tissue that might linger on your heart. Alright, first thing we're going to do is we're going to give you a band-aid. A lot of people prefer to have a band-aid when they have a broken heart. I'd say it's psychological, but people like it. So let's see who you got here. Look at that. A Pikachu Band-Aid. I'd say that's pretty good luck. So let's get this on you, shall we? All right, then we're going to go and stick that right here. Okay, all right, just put this over here. So first thing we're gonna do is take a listen to that heart of yours. I need to assess the damage and see what we're dealing with. So just stay still for me. Get real close here. Just listening closely. Okay. Well, I can indeed confirm you do have a broken heart, my friend. I am sorry to hear that. So what we're going to do is a few tests on you just to kind of assess the damage a little bit and also see if we can help you identify ways to maybe avoid this in the future and maybe Pick that next romantic partner a little bit more carefully so we can avoid broken hearts like these. But broken hearts always do teach us a lesson, can make us a bit stronger and a little bit tougher. And that's not always a bad thing. All right, first thing I want to do is ask you, were you the one that broke up the relationship or was it them? It was them, okay. That can be tough. Well, first thing you need to understand is you deserve love. Never forget that. So I am going to prescribe to you that as a mantra. Every day you need to look in the mirror and you need to say that to yourself at least five times. Because you do deserve love. I promise you that one. Now, you said it's been a little over a week. Okay, so and how long was the relationship? I see. That is quite a bit of time, and it does take time to heal, but you need to focus on you. And what I mean focus on you is find something that you love, or that you want to do, or try, or experiment, or maybe it's get a new hobby, maybe you want to do something with fitness, anything like that. Find something you enjoy, and focus on that. Fill the void of where your relationship used to be with something you enjoy and something that's just for you. 
And I'd suggest don't go looking for love. No, it's, uh, it's wild out there. I'd say let it find you organically. Sound good? Okay. But don't worry, you're special. And someone's going to be very lucky to be with you one day. If you choose. But again, that's your choice. Not all of us want a partner. But you have to figure that out on your own. So, why don't you take a look at me. I just want to assess your eyesight a little bit. I'm just going to flash this light. Good. 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 You can see the light, correct? Good. Now, do you think that you caused any problems in your relationship that caused it to end? And it's okay if you did. We all have to admit we have our faults. We're not perfect. I myself am extremely stubborn. And I also don't always like sudden changes. So this can be very disruptive for me. But we all have our things. So do you. So do I. And sometimes we have to recognize those things within ourselves. And we need to work on them. Because working on yourself isn't a bad thing. But neither is self-love and self-care. Those are all things we should all practice. Alright, well, at least you can see, so that's good. So, now we're going to do a couple more tests. And this might come with some hard truths. But that's okay. It's all part of the journey towards healing. Okay, now we're going to do some color recognition. I'm going to hold this up, and I need you to tell me if you can identify the color. Alright? So, what color is this? Right here. See my fingers through. Good. It's the color red. Same thing as a red flag in another person or a potential partner. Narcissists. People who don't care about you. People who use you. People who always want you to put in more effort. Yeah, red flags. You need to learn to identify them to avoid those broken hearts in the future. Let's see what else we got. Ah, uh, here we go. Can you recognize this color? This color. This color. Green. Very good. And what we want to look for in a potential partner is a green flag. People who do genuinely care about you, share your interests, are interested in what you like and what you enjoy. It's important to find a partner if you want one, as I said, who either shares your hobbies or respects your hobbies in the time that you devote to them. Obviously, relationships are two-way streets, but, you know, compromise is part of that. All right, so I also want to do a little sensitivity testing with you. Sometimes a broken heart can make us feel a bit cold and dead inside and frankly i mean we all feel dead inside from time to time but we don't want that feeling to be pervasive so we like to do a little bit of a sensitivity test on you just to make sure that you can still feel things okay okay so look straight at me i'm just gonna feel around your face feel around your face good 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 Very good. Very good. I'm just gonna feel in your hair here. Just I'm gonna run my fingers through your hair and just make sure you can feel every finger, right? Good. Very good. So you can feel my hands running through your hair, correct? Good. I just want to make sure that your sense of touch is still intact and you can still feel things. 
but we're gonna go and test that a little farther, okay? So, what I have here is a soft brush and a cold or blunt tool. You can use either. I am testing for both. So what I'm gonna ask you to do is close your eyes for me. Close them, close them, close them, close them, close them. And I'm gonna to touch you with either the cold blunt object or the soft brush. And I'd like you to tell me which is which. All right, all right. So close those eyes for me, close them, close them, close them, close them. All right, here we go. And Soft, very good. Touch. Cold. Touch. Soft. Touch. Cold. Touch. Soft, very good. Touch. Soft again. Touch. Cold, very good. Touch. Hold again. Touch. Soft. Okay. Go ahead and open your eyes for me. So that seems to be intact, but I do want to do some further testing. So it seems that you can still feel general softness, which is good, which, and you can identify cold, which means you'll be able to identify warm, which means that heart isn't completely frozen over yet. Broken it may be, but not beyond repair. Which one to use? Hmm. So now we're going to do a very similar similar exam, except we're going to use a different fluffy brush, and then a very wispy brush, very wispy here, I want you to feel it, so that you can get a sense for how it feels, you already felt the fluffy one before, so, close your eyes for me again, close them, close them, close them, close them, and let's begin. And touch. Wispy brush. Touch. Fluffy brush. Touch. Wispy brush. Touch. Wispy brush. Touch. Fluffy brush. Wispy brush. Touch. Fluffy. Touch. Wispy. Go ahead and open your eyes. How are you feeling? More relaxed at least? Good. And how does your heart feel? Any better? A little. Okay, it's a process to mending a broken heart, but you can still feel, and you will get better. It may take some time, but I want you to focus on you. That includes good hydration, proper sleep, positive thinking. Every day we run into problems, and that sucks, but can't let our problems control us, just like we can't let a broken heart control us. We can step back, look for a solution, acknowledge our feelings, and find a way forward. So all you have to do is acknowledge that this broken heart of yours is just a moment in time, and it will pass, and you will be happy again. I promise you that. All right. 
Okay. So I want you to go home. I want you to get a good night's sleep. I mean it. Eight to ten hours. Alright? Just do something you like, relax, watch a movie. But I need you to get a good night's sleep. Alright? Don't forget to hydrate. And call me in a week. I want to check on that broken heart of yours. Make sure it's healing, alright? I'll see you soon. Bye-bye.